Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has released the RC version of iOS 17.2, which means that now we're just days away from the public release of iOS 17.2. It is a great update with a lot of new features and changes, some of them actually really big and really important updates. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know regarding iOS 17.2 before you move on and update your device to this software update. Now, first of all, as you can see the size of the update here, now the RC version on my device here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max came at around six gigs there. But of course, this is because we're moving from the beta to the RC version and it has to reinstall the whole operating system. That's why it's so big. Probably it will be much smaller when it comes to your device next week, most likely around one gig, of course, again, depending from which software you're updating. Now, of course, updating to iOS 17.2 is fairly simple. If you're not on a beta of iOS 17.2, if you're on iOS 17.1.1 or 0.1.2, all you have to do is, of course, come to the software update page and you will get the update right here. If you're on the betas of iOS 17.2 and you have installed the RC version, that means that you won't be getting an update because the RC version and the public release will basically be, basically be the same software so you don't get an update. Now, if you're on the betas and you haven't still installed the RC version and you don't want to install it, you want to wait for the public release, you can do that once you go to the software update page and you get the RC version here. All you have to do is just go here and turn off the updates for the betas and then it will remove the RC version from here and it will show you the public release of course once it's released next week and now let's talk about some of the most important features that apple has added to ios 17.2 there are a lot of features more than 50 new features on ios 17.2 but here are some that are really important first of all verification in iMessage contact key verification finally made it to ios we have been waiting for this for, for quite some time so you can basically enable it here simply by going to your apple id at the top of the settings app and just scroll all the way down underneath the list of your devices you will find this section contact key verification and you will be able to enable it right here of course this allows you to just verify that you're messaging the people you intend to message and finally the journal app also made it to ios this is a general app that apple has talked about now it's on ios 17.2 and it will be on your home screen by default now on ios devices and when we go to the settings of the journal app we can see here some really interesting settings like this one right here which allows you to lock the journal app now you can use the face id and a passcode to actually lock the app I just would want for Apple to actually add this option to all the apps. When you can lock the journal app, why not lock your messages or your photos? This will be really great. And Apple has also made some really nice adjustments and improvements here on the Apple Music app. Now, if you use Apple Music, you will be able to now have your favorites playlist. So it's an automatic playlist that basically will show you all the favorite songs, just like you have one on Spotify Apple has done that on the music app as well. And it's very, very useful. Of course, you don't need to create playlists for every song or just try to add every song to a playlist. You can now just favorite them and they will be automatically added to your favorites playlist. Apple has also enabled spatial audio for the iPhone 15 Pro models. So when you go to formats right here, there you have video capture, spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro, you will be able to now have that feature here, enable it. And when you go to the camera, when you move to the video section, you will have this little button right there that allows you to invoke this feature. And you can see it works on the landscape mode. So you will have to basically rotate your iPhone before trying to shoot a video. And we have some new widgets for the home screen as well. Here we have three different ones for the weather app. So we have this one for sunset and sunrise right there. And then we have the one with the current weather with all the details regarding the weather for the next four days, which is really awesome as well. And then you will have another one here, which basically shows you the current weather and every detail you need to know, like the UVI and the wind and all that. You will see every detail here for your location. And we also got a new digital clock widget, which I really like and all that because of these like lines right here, which indicate the seconds and you will see they fade in and fade out, of course, as they're moving around here, the square, which is really awesome and a very, very nice touch. 
Now, one thing that was mentioned to come to iOS 17.2 was side loading. Even though the rumors were that there will be side loading with iOS 17.2, it turns out that's not actually true and side loading is not coming with iOS 17.2. But one thing we know for sure is that side loading is coming to iOS, but of course it will be only in Europe. Unfortunately, not everyone will be able to have side loading on their iOS device, but it will come to Europe as the new regulations in EU require for Apple to allow side loading on iOS. So it is coming, I believe, in the first half of 2024. Now, when it comes to performance, we had some really nice scores here on iOS 17.2. You can see this is one of the best scores that I got on my device here with iOS 17. So the multi-core score at 7,394, and we have also a great single core score there at 2,945. So really amazing to see that Apple is actually working a lot and improving a lot on stability and performance on iOS. So again, the performance on iOS 17.2 is just amazing. There might be a few little bugs here and there, but it's actually really, really smooth. From day one since beta one, I didn't even notice that I had a beta on my device. It has performed actually really good. And the battery life on iOS 17.2 is not bad at all. In my experience, using my device since beta 1 of iOS 17.2, I had a pretty decent battery life. Like you can see right here, yesterday with around maybe 85% battery, 90% battery there, we got 9 hours 51 minutes. Then right here, 6 hours 44 minutes with 75% battery. Again here, 80% battery. We had 12 hours and 35 minutes, which again, is a really nice battery life to have on the device. Of course, this device has still 100% battery health there, so you can expect it to have a good battery life. But again, using iOS 17.2 since day one on beta one, it has actually quite decent battery life. And now let's talk about the release. When can you expect to get iOS 17.2 on your device? I would really expect Apple to release iOS 17.2 this Monday, so December 11th. Maybe on the 12th, but 90% it will be on the 11th of December. Usually Apple is doing this, taking a look at the history of their schedule. Usually when they release bigger updates, they will do it on a Monday. And December 11th should be the date when you get iOS 17.2 on your device. And should you update or not? Of course you should. I think iOS 17.2 is a great update. It has amazing new features that will make your iOS device even better. So you make sure you update your device once you get iOS 17.2 on your iPhone. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for way more iOS 17.2 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.